Okay, welcome back to Divine Lotus Tarot. So I have a message. This is for Sagittarius energy. All right, so the messages that are coming through. So what I heard was, I did. I heard bot mitzvah, but as I started to get into the messages, it could be a, a bot mitzvah or a bar mitzvah. Now, upon looking that up, okay, it came to my awareness that around the ages of 12 to 13, this is um, something that applies to a young female or male of Jewish descent, okay? Um, or I guess who are considered to be Jewish, that they have this celebration or ceremony called a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah. So that was what I heard. Now, the messages that I got that came through could be, this could be for a Sagittarius who comes to learn, maybe this is a person who did not know that they were Jewish. So they may come to learn that they are Jewish, okay? Um, and, I, and I got an energy of a Virgo, okay? I wanted to send an invitation and offer someone who's been watching, one of the individuals who's been watching, because there's been a lot of individuals who's been watching the Sagittarius energy. Virgo is one of them that was coming through very strongly. But so in that instance, this could be like a Virgo father, okay? What I'm picking up more so, of, it could be a Virgo father that has watched the Sagittarius from a distance. Maybe this Sagittarius does not know that they're Jewish, okay? And um, it could be a father who wants to reconnect and reach out to the Sagittarius. This father obviously must have some, uh, they might must be Jew Jewish. And this could be a Sagittarius first time coming to learn that they are Jewish. So even though the traditionally, you know, the ceremony or celebration is done around the ages of 12 or 13, it could be that maybe this person is going to have one of these celebrations, this bar mitzvah or this bat mitzvah, because they didn't get to have it when they were younger because they didn't know that they were Jewish. So that is one instance. Now, in another instance that I'm picking up, it could just be somebody who wants to invite somebody to one. So I'm not quite clear what is the connection between the Sagittarius and the persons who want to invite or the person who is having this um, bar mitzvah or bar mitzvah. I don't know, but I'm just getting that energy, okay, that either somebody is being invited to one or someone is actually about to have one, but it feels like the person that is going to have one, if this is someone who's just finding out at a, a like they're an adult now, it's because they didn't know that they were Jewish, okay, that they had Jewish um, blood in them or they just didn't have the ceremony when they were growing up, okay? So that's that. The other thing that I heard was, it does feel like it could be family members, okay? So either way, it's like either it's this Sagittarius's family or it's someone else's family or a family that wants to invite and include the Sagittarius in this event. It's either these individuals don't want this Sagittarius to be excluded anymore um, or somebody does not want the Sagittarius to be excluded. So it kind of feels like somebody wants to it, it feels like somebody wants to blend families, okay? So, I mean, I mean, whatever this is, it's, like I said, it's either someone coming into contact with family that they never knew that they had, or maybe this is just family that has just been distant, you know? And now this these family members are open to, like, accepting Sagittarius, especially maybe if Sagittarius is um, biracial or multiracial or something like that. But it could also just be a situation where maybe this is just a family that just wants to invite Sagittarius in and well, uh, um, like bring Sagittarius in. Or this is someone who could maybe potentially have an interest in Sagittarius and maybe they, their family members is coming around to seeing that like they should include Sagittarius for the sake of whoever this person is that has interest in um, Sagittarius. So maybe they're doing it on behalf of the person who has interest because it also feels like there's an energy as well too. Like it could have been a long ongoing situation where someone has been trying to hamper and hinder and intervene in Sagittarius' love life. Now, it's either just in general, like it could be a mother, a family, family members, 
for one family member in particular, a community, maybe like a people from the neighborhood or like some type of team or <laughs> it's like it, it just feels like there has been an attempt for individuals it feels like multiple people who have been trying to just intervene in Sagittarius's love life for different reasons okay like it feels like different reasons especially having to deal with pride ego and selfish gain but it also could be a situation where there was um like if someone knew that a particular person liked Sagittarius and maybe this is somebody who either this person is looked at as considering to be wealthy or well off or they just kind of felt like Sagittarius and this other person were not a good match for whatever reason but it feels like maybe more monetarily this could be why they didn't feel this way or something like that like two people that come from two different lifestyles or just have two different backgrounds or something of that nature it just kind of feels like those group of individuals that community of people were trying to sabotage Sagittarius's love life because they knew that this particular person had interest in Sagittarius, okay? So that's kind of what I'm seeing as well, too. Um, this could be people who are related to Sagittarius. This could be people who know of Sagittarius. Or this could be people who are related or know of the individual who may potentially be interested in Sagittarius, if that applies. Um, what else did I hear? Also, I was picking up a message as well, too, that... It feels like there's a lot of people that's watching Sagittarius, okay? There's a lot of people that's watching Sagittarius. I said there was a Virgo energy here that was very strongly, and it could be multiple Virgos, but it definitely was a Virgo energy here. Um, Virgo energy was an energy that I did get that wanted to extend, like this invitation when it came to this bar mitzvah, bar, bar mitzvah celebration. But I also was picking up an Aquarius. I was picking up a Capricorn. There was like a low-key kind of like Scorpio energy here. And then the other energies I was picking up is, so those energies are definitely watching, okay? But then the other energies I was picking up is like spirit guides or guardian angels, things of that nature. I'm, I'm picking up a Virgo energy for that and an Aries energy. So this could be a Virgo and an Aries that's like on the other side that has been leading and guiding Sagittarius um, on their spiritual journey or just their journey of self-discovery or just on their life path. And it feels like as well, too, just when it goes back to the individuals that have been watching Sagittarius, it feels like, like I said, there seems to be a heavy focus on Sagittarius and their love life, who's who's uh, coming into Sagittarius's life. Um, the fact that Sagittarius is still staying focused and moving forward, despite whatever may be going on in Sagittarius's life. It's like people are watching and seeing like, Sagittarius is motivated. They're ambitious. They're not looking to the left. They're not looking to the right. They're not definitely looking behind them. They're moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And they're moving forward because they're currently happy or they're moving forward to continue their pursuit of happiness. And they're not allowing themselves to be distracted by the fact that, you know, there's things that they have dealt with or people that have been trying to purposely sabotage them. So there's definitely people seeing this. Um, and this could be people who Sagittarius are no longer talking to. Like I said, part of, part of that, that group of individuals that I'm picking up, it could be a mother energy. It could be family, family members, a family member. Um, like I said, just people at work, um, people who just been working together, like teaming up together, trying to purposely um, sabotage Sagittarius or like neighborhood individuals um, or people in the community, in the city, things of that nature, whatever this is. But I also feel as well, too. Um, people are seeing that Sagittarius is just still moving forward. Like Sagittarius is still accomplishing what they said they either they said they were going to accomplish or they're moving forward and they're just being successful in their own right. So this could just be a situation where Sagittarius is doing things that maybe let's say this is family members, for instance. Um, it's like they're doing things that their family has never done. OK, and this is people seeing them continue to be successful in their own right. Um, just moving forward. But I'm also getting as well, too, that Sagittarius could be getting some type of uh, recognition. Now, this could be a situation where I, I was getting like something's not traditional, something's not customary. So when it comes to this energy in this particular scenario, it kind of feels like it kind of feels like Sagittarius is getting something that either if this is a female Sagittarius, it's like a situation where females don't normally hold this status they don't hold this position 
they don't do whatever this is. This could be a situation where it has something to do with someone's race. Like it's like someone of this race, okay, doesn't normally do this or whatever, or just someone's background where they came from. It's like it's almost like like someone coming from this type of environment or this upbringing, like it's not customary for this person to be this successful or this person to accomplish certain things or this person to, to, um, I just feel like, yeah, to just be successful in, in general, you know what I'm saying? Or this also could be a situation where it's like, this could be a scenario where Sagittarius is doing something that, um, or is about to get something that is normally given to like predominantly men like a, a, a female maybe has never held the role position title or status of whatever this is that they currently hold or that they are about to obtain i also heard the word shaba so when i looked up shaba um the musician came to mind um but also i see that um it has connotation meaning to do with the number seven and it also has to do with an oath or a declaration that can be seven times so um maybe this is something that Sagittarius is being has been sworn into or they will be being sworn into and like I said it can apply to one of those things it could be maybe a female has never received this before maybe it only normally goes to men maybe it is a situation where someone of a particular race um never gets this or someone in a certain type of maybe socioeconomic upbringing they never got this position or whatever um or they've never yeah like like it's it's, it's something of that stature that something is going to Sagittarius and either this person is like a triple threat okay um it could be as well too that this person could be young so it could be that this person is a young female they're beautiful you know what I'm saying and, and people are seeing this person as a triple threat maybe just because of that or it's just that this person, it's either one or multiple of those factors as to why something is like an anomaly when it comes to this this scenario as to why Sagittarius is being um, presented with whatever this is that they're, they are receiving. Or that, I guess, just what they have accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever this is, it's like Sagittarius has had to endure a lot to, in order to be where they are for those that this message actually applies to. And I feel like as well, too, going back to the energies that I was picking up, um, it more so felt like I said, the Virgo and the Aries energy more so felt like those were guardians, like spiritual guardians. But I mean, it could be individuals as well, too. Um, but if these are actual people who are um, in the natural realm, OK, what I will say, then these are people who are just like watching Sagittarius from afar. But these could have been people who have definitely had some type of um, impact for being supportive for Sagittarius. Sagittarius just may not be aware of this. So these could be people who are essentially what I'm saying that are supporters, but they're supporters from a distance. OK, and I was just kind of getting energy like these could be people who were going to war or they would go to war for Sagittarius because this is how much they believe in Sagittarius or this is how much they support and back Sagittarius. It also could have been a situation where there were people who were trying to say that Sagittarius was either the problem or they were the reason that certain things were occurring. And I feel very strongly like this Aries Virgo energy, like I said, whether they're in the natural realm or spiritual guidance um, beings, which is what I'm strongly picking up, they were going to war for Sagittarius. So um, because they feel like Sagittarius is either presenting solutions or they are the solution you know like they weren't they weren't the problem okay um it's kind of what i'm seeing so these could be individuals that was making it known or <laughs> or clearing sagittarius's name even though sagittarius might not be aware of it and if these are individuals in the natural realm which i will reiterate then these would be people who sagittarius does not talk to like you would not be if if you're a Sagittarius and this resonates with you you wouldn't be talking to these people these would not be people who you know who your friends who you're in constant no these would be people who you don't have contact with they don't talk to you this, this may be some people who, have, who you don't even know or you just ain't talked to in a very very long time so it would be that type of energy um, but otherwise like I said I'm getting very strong spiritual 
beings, spiritual guides, ascended master type of energy is what I'm picking up that you're dealing with, okay? Or that are supporting you, watching you, guiding you, protecting you, continuing to help you um, stay focused and guiding you along your path, okay? I think that was all the messages for the most part. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Be blessed.